Hello Internet! My name is Hazel from Hazel Nutty Games and welcome back to Don't Starve! It is day 65 in game, probably about to become 66. It is deep in winter and I have no idea when summer is coming back. So, my plan, my plan for this episode is slightly complicated, so bear with me, I will talk you through it. What we're gonna do is uh, we are going to collect and amass some food, because our food supplies are a little low. I have one piece of jerky. And what's in my fridge? I have like a couple pieces, like a couple of dishes, nothing too exciting. So we're gonna amass some bunnies. And with those bunnies, we are going to go back into the cave, get the materials that are needed to craft a lantern, and use that to both explore the caves in a better and more thorough manner. I'm also murdering that crow, don't mind me. Explore the caves in a better manner. And <clears throat> um, at the very least, come back with a bunch of rocks that we can use to further... Whoa, whoa, I'm just lighting stuff on fire here. At the very least, come back with some rocks that we can use to further expand and shore up the defenses of our panic room. That sounds like a fun thing that will probably take the rest of winter. Let's eat some honey nuggets just to get our health and sanity back up a little bit. And then we need... So what we need for the bunnies and for the um, <clears throat> for the lantern is twigs. I got lots of twigs. Twigs are no problem, but grass. Grass is going to be slightly more problematic than the twigs. Um, I need at least six pieces for my lantern because it takes two pieces of rope. And then you need, I believe, also six pieces for each trap. So we're going to need a whole bunch of grass, and it doesn't really grow back all that quickly in the winter. Why don't we go explore kind of up to the northwest here, because I believe that's a direction I haven't spent too much time uh, pursuing just yet. So, that's going to be the first step. Um, we may or may not make it actually into the caves with a lantern in this episode. I hope we do. Um, I'd like to collect some, some serious rocks. And I did, we didn't really find much good stuff in the caves last time. I'm planning on actually regenerating the cave when I go down so we get a whole new one to explore. Because I didn't see any bunny men, and I thoroughly plan on finding some bunny men. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find a bunny man, but I'm going to find him anyways. There's a qualifant print. Uh, hunting that would be an excellent way to get me some food. I don't have any boomerangs on me, or the materials to make one. Uh, we're going to try track it anyways, because why not? We can collect grass in the way. And then when we find out, we're just going to have to try and corner it in order to... Uh, Oh, there it is. It's hiding. No, is it hiding? Sometimes it can be very difficult to actually find the suspicious dirt pile. See right there? I never would have seen that if I hadn't been able to flip the camera. Also, I can't see which way it's pointing. Okay, so we're going back that way. Oh, oh, don't get lost. Oh, so confused. Okay, this way. <laughs> uh, my spatial awareness and recognition lasts for about half a second, maybe tops. I get lost very easily. In life and in games, just in general. Alright. How are we doing on grass? We're at 17, so that's pretty good. It is dusk. Dusk is a little bit trickier in the winter. It does get quite a bit colder during dusk, so my heat stone is now completely cold. And my beefalo hat's only going to do so, me so much good here, so I probably want to head back pretty quick. And get myself, may as well grab some berries, get myself a uh, fire, get myself heated back up. Uh, yeah, I do not have the available warmth in my body to be chasing around a qualifant like a dingus like a silly doofle doodle all right so we got bunny we got one piece of jerky oh there's another bunny i forgot i left all these traps out here how convenient that was a very handy thing for me to do good job former hazel good work there's a road down here somewhere no i can almost see it i can almost see it all right let's get the fire going again thankfully i have quite a bit of wood saved up and I don't really feel like keeping these pine cones. You know, it's been so long since the Larry incident that I'm getting a little bit slack in regards to, uh... Getting a little slack in regards to the <clears throat> tree guard problem. So if I summon one by collecting a little bit of extra wood here, it is entirely my fault and you can point and laugh. That's the plan. I should probably dig up some of these stumps. That would be slightly less dangerous. That's a really nice uh, feather floating tree animation. I feel like they added that recently. Alright, let's grab some stumps. Oh, I suppose I can I can chop down this one tree right here. Always important to make sure you've got lots of fuel. My sanity is in slightly rough shape. I'd really like to have it above 60. I don't. There's something bad that starts happening when you're un under 60. It's like the hands or... 
I don't know, something that I don't really, I'm not really interested in, so I should probably keep an eye on that. While we're digging stumps, we should make sure that we check to see how big our little spider farm is, because I'm waiting for it to get to tier 3. Once it's tier 3, you do not want to leave it too long, because again, I've said it before, I'll say it as many times as necessary. Uh, spider queens, dangerous, bad, bad. So that's only tier 2, so that's fine, it's only got the two lumpies. We do not have a third lumpy just yet. Oh, look at all this wood. Look at all this wood. Yeah, it's good stuff. I'm gonna cook myself some berries. And I guess I could eat my jerky. Nope, nope, nope. That's Don't feed the science machine the berries. The science machine has no interest in eating my goofy berries. I have a little bit of daylight left. Did I leave any extra traps? There should be one down this way. Should be some... A lot of this grass needs fertilizing still. I would love to get it some fertilizer, but I think that uh, my beefalo are permanently gone. I might have to make a trip to make it. I'll either have to make a trip to see uh, pig people or I'm just gonna have to collect a whole bunch of berries once summer comes, let them all rot and do things that way. I'm cutting it really close here, really close. Come on fire. That's one thing about pine cones, they do not last all that long. All right, so we got a couple of pieces, a couple of morsels. I'd like, to, I guess I can't, put off leaving until that jerky's ready. That's just not right. Alright, so what are we gonna do? I'm gonna cook together. Oh, I've already got two eggs there. So let's make, let's cook together some morsels and that'll make something. And then I'll cook, what happens when you combine eggs and honey without any meat? I guess I can find that out. I don't want to put that jerky in anything because I want to eat it just as is. But we are going back in the caves. We have enough grass, I think. Enough grass. Um, more than enough grass, actually, so we can lay a trap or two and be able to make ourselves our lantern as well. Let's pre-create my rope. Oh, my beefalo hat's getting really down there, but hopefully it'll be just fine. I won't worry about making a new one yet. Go away. Go away. You look frightening. I don't like you. Not one bit. So there's my rope. I'm taking my meatballs with me. I... Alright, so egg, egg... Honey, honey, what happens? We'll take our light bulb with us too, because light bulbs are an ingredient. Uh oh. Stop doing that! You're not in the dark! That must be a new thing. <laughs> That's really annoying. Oh, uh, what happened? What happened? I got. Oh, oh. Yeah, wet goop is bad. Wet goop is not something you should eat, it just hurts your health. It's just bad. Alright. I bet I should craft another beefalo helmet just while I'm here, just before anything bad happens. Where'd all my- oh, there it is. There's my wool. And I'll just keep an extra one on me, just in case. I can drop it outside of the, uh, the cave entrance as a safety precaution. I have enough horns, thanks to my beefalo massacring. Hmm. Alright. So, we're gonna wear this one. We're gonna keep that one in the bags. We're gonna make sure we're not carrying too much extra stuff, but that we've got everything we need. And we are heading out. We're on our way. I guess I can eat a thing. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Let's go. We're doing it. We got half of an opulent pickaxe, which should land us enough, um, which should be just fine for creating our, uh, should be just fine for mining. Oh dear, pingles. <coughs> yeah, I think I mentioned before that I looked those up, and it turns out they are dangerous. Ooh, have I forgotten about this miner hat the whole time? Because that's going to be very useful while I'm, uh, waiting to get my lantern built, because I need two or three light bulbs for a lantern? Oh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to make my lantern on this trip because, um, because the, uh, oh, there's a reason. There's reasons. You need to craft it as a science machine. You need to be at your camp or at, by a science machine in order to prototype it. So I'm going to have to collect a bunch of light bulbs and then come back. I don't remember exactly how many I need. I think it's in the area of three. So I'll try and collect five just to be safe, maybe even six. Um, light bulbs will, once you create a lantern, so let's regen the cave. Once you create a lantern, it will give you light for eight minutes, which is one whole in-game day. And, um, and then after that you need to refuel it with more, um, light bulbs and more slurtle slime, which is a thing that those weird snail doodles dropped last time we were in the cave. So, it's making me a brand new cave. We are, our goal is just light bulbs. But thankfully we have a miner hat, which should make things much easier. We can get some rocks while we're down here. Run away from some spiders. 
and be just fine. I probably shouldn't be taking my backpack down there. Oh well. I don't feel like going back up to drop it off at the entrance. So let's... We're gonna take this off. We're gonna put on my miner hat. And I'm gonna put on my log armor too once I've taken the things that I need. What do I want to have on me? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna carry this with me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm not concerned. Let's hold on to my pickaxe and go looking for some bulbies and some stuff. Rocks, 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 rocks. Do I need flint too? Yeah, I have room for so much flint because I was a smarty. I was a smarty pants and I left an entire stack of flint at my camp so I am fully able to pick up the stuff. I should probably go ahead and uh, should probably be focusing on finding the light bulbs first and then worry about the, all this mining later because my mining hat is already down 89% it's not going to last all that long and once oh geez <laughs> okay that's fine that's kind of useful once my mining hat's all done then I will be forced to go back with the torch or something whoa ooh, what's all this I like it there's a science machine oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my goodness you don't understand how excited I am. This is like a whole camp here. And, and, oh, 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 I can, I can prototype my thingy doodle once I get my thing. Okay, I'm keeping this cave forever. This is my spot. I could live here. I could fish in this pond. There's stuff. There's light bulbs. All right, I'm going to put all this in here. There's shell. There's gold. There's slurtle slime. There's rocks. Oh, my goodness. I am the happiest person ever. That, nothing bad better happen to that. I'm going to defend that place. I might just stay here. <laughs> What happens when I pick ferns? I get foliage, which I could eat, or I could keep in my nothing or drop and forget about it. My original plan was to look up to see what that did to see if there's anything I can craft with it, but you know, I'm not too worried. I will have to remember to keep an eye on the time because day and night, it's always night in the caves, so you, it's very easy to, I mean, usually when I'm recording an episode, I just do it for two in-game days and then I'm done. That's about 15 minutes, but it, down here, it's probably kind of easier to lose track of time. There must be more caves than this. I'm trying to go sort of to the northwest of this cave area to try and find one of those areas with all the mushrooms. I want the mushrooms and the light bulbs. Gotta be something down here. Or was this where I came? I think this was my entrance. Um, yep, yeah, that's the rope that brings me back. But there is a way over here. Perfect. I don't know why I'm farming light bulbs. There were a ton of them back in that camp. Did you guys notice that? Are you guys yelling at me right now? Because I bet you are. I don't blame you one bit. That's a thing I could attack that I don't really want to attack. That's a huge thing that I could attack that I really don't want to attack. I'm going to go back and make that lantern right the hell now. Alright, so in survival, it's probably not going to show up till I go stand by that science machine. <laughs> you guys are probably like, why are you just running around back and forth, digging about, and not accomplishing anything? And there's an answer for that, ladies and gentlemen. The answer is I'm doing this live and I'm the best alright All right. there's a tent down here oh I probably need that badly that's probably something I badly need now is this area just like always lit because that's nice so I probably don't need my miner hat yeah that's fine survival I bet because I have the rope on me and I have some light bulbs and I have some sticks the internet told me that's all I needed tent for a roll I did not look up it's probably under light that would make sense use an al me engine. Well darn. <laughs> uh, that's okay. You know what? I will do that shortly. On the next episode, we're going back to make that. And then we're going to explore the crap out of this place, because look at all this stuff. I so badly... Did I ever make a fishing rod? Did I ever do that? Also, how many rocks do we have? Because I'd really like to make a campfire down here. I don't really know why. I don't think I need it for anything aside from maybe cooking. There's no crock pot. Where, why can't I make a bar pit? Oh, there's one right there. Okay, I can do it right here. Look at all this. There's even a farm I can plant stuff? Holy smokes. Smoky doodles. Let's cook some meat. It's not even stale anymore. See, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go hang out in the tent and have a great night. My name is Hazel. It's always been Hazel. Oh, too dangerous. It's quite possible though. Oh, no, now it's not too dangerous. Hazel from Hazel Games, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you didn't already do that. 
for more episodes of this and other stuff I do. It's all wonderful. Believe me. I'm working on it. And bye!